Thanks for joining us again on Connection here on TK08 Television. Dennis King and Tabitha Odegaard, it's always a pleasure to be with you each week as we go out and have organizations come in to talk to us about what's going on in your area that's important. And many times we don't even know what it is. So it's good for us, too. We, it's a learning experience, so to speak. How's Absolutely. everything going? Everything's great. Are you great. staying fit? I am definitely seeing <laughs> fit. I work out a lot. At the fitness yeah. club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fitness club. It's doing really well. Uh, r real briefly, I always uh -huh. want to kind of plug your business you a little bit. You always do a really good job of that. Uh, you do, uh, obviously, you have spinning classes, which I, is really kind of mm -hmm. unique to this area, special bikes, and mm -hmm. you do classes morning, noon, evening, certain times during the week. Um, I knocked out my noon because I've, I've got a second job now. So, but, but <laughs> do you still do them uh, one or like Mondays? Do you still uh, do Monday them? at noon is the only one at only noon one I do. do. But yeah. you always have morning and afternoon mm -hmm. class. Eight thirty okay. in the morning mm -hmm. and five thirty at night. Okay. Sure. Now, do you do other? I do toning, toning classes, classes just, and um, personal training for and people. And I do personal training okay. as well. Yeah, all mm -hmm. that. So. Yeah. Oh, well, fitness club. It's really nice that they moved over next to Nature's mm -hmm. Wonders because that parking lot is packed now. Between, Always. Between Nature's Wonders mm -hmm. and Ace Hardware and the fitness club, you can't hardly find a parking yes. place. And I guess that's a good thing to have. Yes, that Nature's Wonders does a really good job. Yeah, they do, and it's good, um, and kind of a kind of a good. It goes step hand in between. hand, doesn't yeah, it? Really does. Yes, so, absolutely. Anyway, so if you into exercise, you want to do a spinning class, or if you need personal training, whatever, go out by and ask uh, for Tabitha, and you've got schedules, I guess. After. Of course. Okay, Always. so you can do. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. We're going to talk to Matt Bell about fireworks on Connection. <laughs> Harrison, Arkansas, a town where business is personal. A Health Mart town. Pharmacist Tara Wilmot owns her Health Mart pharmacy. Here, Tara offers free one-on-one -on -one prescription medication consultations, providing information to customers in a way that makes them feel comfortable, not confused. Expert knowledge, personal attention. It's what makes Tara a Health Mart pharmacist and Harrison a Health Mart town. Your town is a Health Mart town. So visit your locally owned Health Mart today. At First National Bank, we're making banking easier with free checking, secure online bill pay, agri loans. We're meeting your financial needs. First National Bank offers what other big banks do, along with some things they don't. While we're big enough to provide you with the services you need, we're small enough to know your name. We offer our customers eight convenient locations. Come see why First National Bank is the right bank for you. First National Bank, the right bank. Member FDIC. Our first guest in the studio today is Matt Bell from the Harrison Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's a mouthful always, isn't it, Matt? It How are you doing today? Go, doing great, doing great. Thank Good you to see you. You know, this is actually Bell Day. we got Matt is, Bell and then we got Amy Bell. Uh -huh. yep. No relation? No relation. No, just, just both same last just name. Awesome There's last actually name. a lot of Bells around, isn't yeah, it? That's are. a common name. Every uh, church has one. <laughs> I Taco like has one. <laughs> Taco has one. Every time. That's pretty good. I like that. All right. We're talking about fire in the sky. What's, when is it and where is it? It'll be July 4th, uh, downtown Harrison at the First National Bank Soccer Complex, uh, kind of adjacent to the junior high downtown there. Uh, July 4th, Thursday. It's on a Thursday mm -hmm. this year. Um, and we will be doing it on Thursday. What sure. time yeah. will you yeah. kick it off? Well, uh, the turtle races that First Federal yeah, Bank always does, oh. um, yeah. they, they kick off their turtle race pre-registration or late registration, actually. Pre-registration, I think you can register right now. But at 9 a.m. Okay. on the 4th, on the square okay. is where the turtle races will be. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately following the races, McDonald's will do their children's parade. Um, you know, it typically, I think, 10, 30, 11 time frame when they get all the uh, turtle races mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. um, and then every kind of everything just kind of lulls at that, po that point after the children's parade. Uh, and then we'll kick off things down at the soccer complex about 530 with some live entertainment, um, some, some live bands down there. Who's going to be um, playing, do you know? Well, we're still working it out. Okay. Uh, don't want to... 
don't want to blast any names out there yet right, because sure. I want to make sure that it works with their calendar. Obviously, a lot of people travel for the Fourth of July, sure. and, mm-hmm. and you know, you contact one band member, and the rest want to make sure that they're gotcha. you know here. Um, but we do have some good good talent. Actually, Rachel at, and Rob at KHOZ are are working uh, one zero two nine the Z are working on getting us some good performers out there. So okay. for the public, All right, great. Um, and then you know, it, I think if we we're looking at six thirty or. 6.15 time frame, we'll do a, a frozen t-shirt competition. What is that? Uh, you take a t-shirt, get uh-huh. it real wet, and then you freeze it. Okay. And the first person, essentially it's in a block of ice, the first person to get that shirt all broken apart, and it shreds and stuff and all mm-hmm. this, it gets nasty, uh, and get it on. Um, wow. Is a person that wins, so okay, we'll do that cool. on the on the main stage down there at the soccer complex. Okay. Uh, then some more musical entertainment, and then uh, we'll do a an ice cream eating competition. Um, you know, a brain a brain freeze event essentially. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so that's so how much you can consume and how fast you can consume. The it? fastest person to consume. I think it's a half gallon or oh, uh, God. maybe a pint or whatever it is. I don't know. TCBY uh, helped us out with it last oh, year. Oh, I love TCBY. And it was, uh, oh, yeah, yeah Brain Free Central <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, our final competition will be a hot wing eating competition. We'll do that after some more music uh, entertainments provided. And it's hot. Uh, I'd want to do that right after the ice cream. Hot. Last year I got a yeah. Last year I got a really <laughs> good picture of a gentleman. That uh, that had the hot, won the hot wing eating competition for Pizza Hut, uh-huh. and uh, this year he tried it at, at the this past year he tried it at the Fourth of July, and let's just say it was a it was an action shot. Ah, uh, yeah, sweat, oh, yeah. Oh. really action, huh? Yes, oh, and then uh, at about nine o'clock we'll kind of start our military uh, American tributes. You know, the boys local Boy Scout troop will be po- posting the colors, which we're very grateful. Um, mm-hmm. And then we'll, you know, obviously have the the pledge, the national anthem, and and those things. And then, kaboom! Uh, whenever it's dark enough, you know, last year everybody was really anxious, and mm-hmm. I think it was probably close to nine thirty whenever they started going off or somewhere in that time frame. And everybody's anxious to see the fireworks. Well, you want to get the most bang for your buck. So you want it to um, get dark. Bob. Sure. Absolutely, pitch <coughs> black is the best best background for a And for actually, life, 4th so. of July is getting right in there where it's the longest days yes. of the year. So you really yes. do have to almost wait till yeah, 9.30. Yeah, you know, last year yeah. we were playing and we were looking at 9 o'clock for it being pitch black and we would definitely be out of there. You know, the fireworks yeah. would be done by 9.30. Well, we hadn't even started the fireworks, uh, you know, you. Uh, because you got to account for when the, the sun goes down. Sure. But um, we'll have... Uh, Kind of a little play area for kids, and you know we're, we're hoping that people will just come down and have a good evening and, and hang out with us after they do their family activities throughout Very the good. day. So wonderful. Well, and, and one thing, it's this is a little bit different. There for several years, mm-hmm. all they had on the fourth. I guess they've always had the turtle race thing for the kids on the square early, <laughs> and then McDonald's doing their little track thing mm-hmm. right after that, and then really didn't have anything other than the fireworks for a long mm-hmm. time. So this is good to have other activities going on down there so the family can right. go at 5, 5.30 and mm-hmm. they can hang out and do things and their kids can do things. And Yeah, folks have wanted to set up their lawn chairs for you know a few hours in mm-hmm. advance to make sure they get the perfect seat. Sure. Well, last year I think that people realized they could sit a long ways away and still have the perfect seat because we did, you know, we grew the fireworks show uh, tremendously the, last the year. The size of the yeah, twenty thousand dollar investment. <coughs> wow, twenty thousand uh, dollars. I think it was eight thousand the year before. So, right. um, and then you go to 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 bigger yeah, uh, what <laughs> city call council the bigger allowed for bigger shells, shells to be fired mm-hmm. out there, um, double the size that had been fired before. So, uh, yeah, it was a huge step for us in the right direction for making a huge show. So. Wow. Twenty thousand dollars is a lot of fireworks. Uh, yeah, it's always really good. It is. I've they seen it. A, probably one of the better ones for around the area. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do a believe lot of that. Enjoy it. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna have any special seating? Uh, we do have a sponsor seating area, mm-hmm. and we're seeking sponsors still. We'll sp- seek sponsors up till the day of, and then we'll seek sponsors the day after for next year. Okay. Um, but we do have a sponsor seating zone. And then we have a general seating zone. Both of them are within the complex, so okay. you don't have to pay a dime. It's free of charge, 100% free access to the general public. But folks will see a seating area up front uh, that's designed for for sponsor seating. So okay. and we have different levels of sponsors. Let, let's talk a little bit base. about, you gave me a, a booklet here, and, and we're one of your sponsors, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, you've got, looks like sponsors starts... 
five thousand dollars and goes down to a hundred dollars. Yeah, for individuals. we had folks that came in last year and said, "Hey, we want sponsor seating for our family and extended family. How can we do that?" So we did an in individual sponsor seating for a hundred dollars. You get twenty armbands. Wow. Share with your friends, family, neighbors. Uh, you know, get your own spot down there right up front, and you don't have to get there till nine o'clock. And there's guaranteed going to be more than adequate space in our seating area okay. for sponsors. I think we can hold up to four thousand people in just our sponsor seating area wow. alone. Where is the sponsor seating area? Where is that located at? Where's well, the best when you're seat? Coming, well, the parking folks will need to park in the junior high parking lots. You know, parks and rec parking lot over at the park even. And walk from the junior high alongside uh, Crooked Creek down there, the walking trail mm -hmm. down, down the walking trail toward the soccer complex. And once you get into the soccer complex and it opens wide up, you've walked into the general seating area. Okay. And then from there, if you just go further toward the uh, the big concession stand down there at the soccer complex, and that's adjacent to that is where they're firing the fireworks. So you just walk through the, the general seating area, and you'll see where we have it gated for uh, okay. for sponsor seating. So, so they actually shot the fireworks. <clears throat> where do they shoot the fireworks? From the, uh, it's at the the soccer complex parking lot. At the parking lot area. Right. That's where they right shoot the fireworks. The parking lot. Lot. Yeah, so you got it roped off. Right. Stonewall <laughs> Road is completely shut down. Right. Um, there is no access. No pedestrian traffic, no vehicle traffic, obviously, gotcha. sure. not even runners in the morning, uh, starting, I think, about 7 a.m., we can't even have the runners go through there for uh, for well, legal purposes. Wow, we don't have any wow. Pedestrians. Okay, so because yeah. obviously they got a lot of prep mm -hmm. to right. take care of right. that day. And we don't mean to interfere with people in their fitness, but, you know, for one it's day, one we, day. You know, it's on. turn around, you've missed this, this you know, few hundred right. yards of running. Yeah, so. that can still go yeah. on the other sure. end right. sure. and do whatever right. they want. Well, good. Let's say, did I miss anything here? Uh, sponsors and so forth. Is there a theme? Oh, yeah. uh, we're still dubbing the American Festival theme. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's kind of where we wanted to go with it and keep it. We did that last year, and this year we're really going to reinforce it. But you know, we're we're wanting to honor our heroes, our our, our men and women in service mm -hmm. uh, overseas, past, present, and future. Sure. Um, honor them with the, the you know the reason we have our freedom. The reason why we're celebrating the Fourth of July is for our freedom. That's so exactly. Right. Really want to embrace that. So it is an American festival. So you. You know, we'd like to maintain the, uh, you know, good family, small town, hey, this is our festival, uh, this is our freedom kind of deal. So. We've got just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. let's, let's mention uh, about their new location. They, they just moved their offices. Yeah. You're yeah. on the square now? Yes, or yes. Well, being off the square, you're what used to be. Yeah, we were a block off the square, and it was puzzling to some people, well, we're, we're, we're not getting the visitors right, that right. We, we should. Well. Visitors, when they go anywhere, it's a convenience. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why a gas station is located right on the highway. Right. If it's two blocks off, they're not going to pull in there. Mm -hmm. um, so we got into a tourist destination right there on the square. The first federal. Uh, the historic square. Federal the, what was formerly first, first federal. federal's downtown right. office there, uh -huh. uh, 200 West Stevenson Avenue. We're set up, ready, ready to go. go. We're going to have a grand opening on the 28th. Um, Fantastic. Free That's hot good. dogs. Well, we're glad free you're hamburgers, hot dogs, and that kind of stuff. So. That'll, be, that'll be a good spot for you. Yes. It'll be good we're exposure, and, and that's a nice building location there, too. So you can see it from all around, mm -hmm. from the, like going yes, down sir. 7, people going toward the Buffalo River mm -hmm. can see the the big sign on the back. We had so more visitors the first week than we'd have in a month at our <laughs> Wow. Oh, that's wow. good. It's good, good right. exposure there. Sure. We actually have brochures that's come great. off of our racks. For wow. Change. That's good. That's what you wanted. Right? Yes. Matt Bell, thank you so, thank much, you so much, uh, much for coming in and thank being you. with us today. And uh, we, we're glad to be one of your sponsors. And we know the event will be a, a big success. It was last year. It a lot is. of people yeah. enjoy. You know, it's one thing that families can go take all their kids if they've got one or Fifteen, they can go. It doesn't cost anything. Mm -hmm. It's free of charge. So yeah. it's a great time, and it's a good time. It's oh, yeah. a really good show. Yeah, it really is, and to mm -hmm. celebrate our country and our freedom. Absolutely. Matt Bell from the Harrison Convention and Visitors Bureau. We're talking about fire in the sky. Well, there'll be a lot of fire in the sky on the Fourth of July, Fourth uh, this year on a Thursday. So if you don't have anything to do or you're not out of town, go and enjoy some great fireworks. Twenty thousand dollars worth of fireworks. That's a lot of sparkles. It's really, really, and good, it's a great guys. event. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. We're going to talk with another Bell, Amy Bell, <laughs> and she's going to talk about non-credit classes and a whole new program at North Arkansas College.
Ozark Auto Body and Towing has been serving the Harrison area for over 25 years. As a certified collision repair center, Ozark Auto Body offers free estimates for insurance claims, approved by Underwriters Laboratory and certified with a good housekeeping seal of approval. Using only PPG paints, the latest design heated paint booth for a baked on finish, and factory trained technicians, you're sure to get the job done right. For auto body repair or 24 hour towing and record service, see the experts at Ozark Auto Body and Towing in Harrison. Make someone's day a little brighter with a unique gift from Sisters Flower and Gift Shop. If you're looking for something special, Sisters has a great selection of tableware items, serving pieces, cooking and baking products, vases, centerpieces, and numerous other gift ideas. For the future bride and groom, Sisters has a bridal registry that makes it easy to select the perfect gift. Stop by and browse the many one-of-a-kind items. Sisters Flower and Gift Shop, we are so much more than flowers. Back on Connection here on TKO8 Television, Dennis King, Tabitha Odegaard, and our second guest in the studio today is no stranger. She comes in a lot, and it's another bell. It's Amy Bell. <laughs> <laughs> we said to Matt, Amy Bell's coming in. He goes, there's lots of bells, like Taco Bell. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think I want to be in yeah, said, with Taco Bell. <laughs> I said, what? No, he was, he was, he was cool. But, you know, I see Matt at a lot of these things. Yeah, you do. When yeah. I'm out promoting things, he's out promoting <laughs> he things, is. too. Yeah. He was promoting the 4th of July. Can, oh, yeah, <coughs> that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. But uh, we got something new to talk oh, about. Oh, this is actually really, really exciting. Um, <laughs> I'm Kids college. Kids college. I explain yeah. what's going on here. Well, you know, as I look at what other colleges are doing around the state and trying mm -hmm. to get ideas of how we can better serve our community, mm -hmm. kids college kept coming up. And a lot of my cohorts around the state are saying to me, Amy, why aren't you doing kids college? Right. It's, it's a great way to get kids on your campus. To um, kids that, I, I don't know about you, but when I grew up, I knew I was going to college. It was talked about. Mm -hmm. It was said. Mm -hmm. um, it was a given. Okay. A lot of kids don't have that in their home right. and may not even think about the possibility right. of, of what they could accomplish by going to college or the programs that are out there that they might be interested in that they don't know about. Sure. To get them on our campus and to show them, look, look at all these engineering classes you can take at North Arc, mm -hmm. these type of things and mm -hmm. how fun it is. Fun it is. And look, exciting. you're on a college campus. And you're going to be how comfortable you are. Comfortable yeah. You can be. Sure. And that kind of, you know, puts a thought in their head that, hey, I'm, I'm interested in college. Sure. Um, and, as, and as we look at these, these are mostly engineering classes, but we have a video game making class as well for the kids. Neat. Some IT stuff. But we offer these same sorts of things on the credit side, you know, as you grow up and you right. go to college. So it, it is a great opportunity for the kids. And it's fun. It's lots and lots of fun. You know, they get to build something and work on something and make it their own. Obviously, first year we've done it. We're excited. The, mm -hmm. the feedback from the community has been really Good. 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 So hopefully we'll get enough enrollments where we can have the classes go this year. And then next year, hopefully, we will increase the number of classes we have. Right. We'll get a good idea this year what, what age groups want to sure. take classes. What age groups um, can take classes? Well, our classes are two different groups here. One, um, two of the classes for are for students in ages, grades first through third. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other two classes are for students, grades... Ages and 10 and two. up. There you go, 10 yep. and up. So, yeah, and the first one says grades 4 through 8. But we, we take, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're designed for that age group. But if you feel like your child is mature enough to go into the grades sure. 4 through 8 and they're in the second grade, yeah. we'll absolutely take them, and this, yeah. and this teacher will work with them. Yeah. But, yeah, what I'm also finding as we put these out there, what I'm hearing from the community is, hey, there's not much for this age group mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the summer. So, so parents are looking for those things. So that's nice to know, too that we are meeting a need in our community because obviously that's that's what North Arc is here to do. Well, you know, another thing I would think <clears throat> by having these kind of classes, mm -hmm. you know, North Arc being a two-year college here, mm -hmm. and it's, a, you know, kind of a, a regional college where you, most of the students will come from, you know, uh, around a 10, 12, 15 county area, you mm -hmm. know, and maybe some in, in Missouri, but it's a good way to expose the college it to is. families where you know, down the road, like I say, get them thinking about it at a young age, but it also gets the parents thinking about, well, geez, this would be a good place for my exactly. child to go when they get out of high school exactly. for two years and get an associate mm -hmm. degree and then go on and transfer those credits onto a four-year college. Absolutely. That's very, very cool. So and first through third grade, that's 
And they're little bitty guys. Yeah. And being in a college, that's awesome. Right. And to just to be on a college campus and think, oh, okay, college is normal for people. Everybody mm -hmm. goes to college. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's um, great. It changes your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. changes the way they think about school, about mm -hmm. education. That, okay, there's something after high school for me, even if it's a certificate program, even if it's a, s a semester or a year. You know, there's many, many things you can get at North Ark where you can go to work. Okay. And I was reading here, they're building with Legos. Yeah, oh, how fun! Idea. How fun is that? That's I a know. great idea. Yeah. So, yes, there, it is educational. I think we've talked about that. But you're right, Tabitha. I mean, we haven't talked about the fact that it's really fun for yeah. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, it gives kids. Very interactive. To be creative. Yeah, type thing. Yeah, but they are learning, <clears> obviously, <throat> engineering concepts at the same time. And the, in the video game making, you know, they're on the computer. They're making a video game. How fun is that? Well, That's you know, really, really these, cool. These kids, <laughs> if you don't... If you don't think mm -hmm. this is true, anytime you've got a question about oh. a cell phone or a computer, oh, gosh, you know yes. who you can ask? Oh, These young kids. kids yes. Because <laughs> any more schools, so you know, finally, the, finally, private schools started years ago, but finally public schools mm -hmm. ha have started putting computers in their elementary schools. So these kids are getting hands-on at, at a very young age, and it's great because they know stuff that, like me, I, I've kind of having to go back and learn. They're picking it up on the front end, and, right. and they're st you know leading edge of the technology side of it. So this okay. is this yeah. is something great, and it's right like I say, they like it. It's fun. Make it a, if you make it fun, and it's still a learning mm -hmm. process. It's the best of both worlds. That's right. And it really that's is. Right. So this is. That's can you still sign up for this? You can still sign yep. up. So like up to um, July first for a couple, and uh, and by June twenty fourth. Okay. For a couple of them, that's our enrollment deadline. Okay. Just so we know we have enough to bring right. in the equipment and the instructor. Right. If they wanted more information about that, who do they call? Absolutely. Call us three nine one thirty one hundred, or okay. go on our website northart.edu slash ce. Okay. You can also okay. enroll online. Okay. Or they can call that thirty one hundred number to. To, um, so this as well. this uh, the kids college. Mm -hmm. If you go on your uh, go on, on your website, website, it'll pop. You'll have a place to go. If to. You go to that register now button. It's going to list these classes. Okay. And we've gotten quite a few registrations on. Very good. So That's easy great. for people. That's great to do that. Who's going to be teaching these classes? Well, we have contracted with a company called mm -hmm. All About Learning, and you see their little logo there yes, at the right top there. of the flyer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and they bring in their own instructors. So mm. they do this all over the nation, which is great. So they have this curriculum that's been researched and developed and tested with kids. Very so good. that was exciting for us to be able to partner with them and them bring in their own instructors and do it correctly. And let's let's see how it works to have a kids' sure. college. Sure. And then next year, uh, we'll feel more confident, I think, about right. bringing our, in our own instructors and our own curriculums and, and knowing what all the little tweaks are and the mm -hmm. little things to look for in a sure. college program. Sure. So use yeah, their, it's, it's use their expertise the first time. Yeah, and then get maybe our feet wet. Go back <laughs> And, uh, we, we're going to learn too, yeah, you know, sure. uh, along the way. So it's good for us. All right. Well, we we <laughs> still get, we still got this brochure. Oh, yeah. hold, that, hold that brochure up there. Yeah. This one, okay. And then that's your. Uh, yeah, I hope you've seen that around town. Yeah, it, all of yes. the non-credit classes that's being offered this year. This summer. Uh, this this for whole the summer, because you know we do yeah. summer things, yeah. right? And you and actually do. What do you have? Three sessions. We do. We you do three. Do three fall, sessions. spring, and summer. Uh huh. And so our summer, you know, pretty full little booklet that's here right. and. We've put about um, 18,000 of these around town. Okay. So surely you've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then this is about it. That's right. Here, Dennis, and there's that. Learn to use a computer. That's Learn to use a good. computer. That's a, you, <laughs> you don't need that, do you, Dennis? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how to use it. I but you know it's one of our most popular courses always. Oh, yeah. And we're doing our second session this Saturday, the level two of that. Uh -huh. And quite a few people have signed up for that. You know, it's... What's been really popular for us, we started last semester, is iPad Basics mm -hmm. and iPhone Basics. You talking oh, about yeah. iPhone. Yeah, my, that would be a good one. Uh, you know, my little 11-year-old has an iPhone, right? And he knows all about it, like yes. you're talking about the kids do. And uh, my father-in-law got an iPhone yesterday and wow. is already looking for my son to give him lessons. Yes. Because yep. uh -huh. that's how you feel, right? Well, this is such a great class. And we got such good feedback on it last semester of how much there is about an iPhone that people don't know, even people who are using the phone already. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we've got level one and two on that. And the same thing with the iPad. I got an iPad mm -hmm. this semester, and I thought, well, we just like the iPhone, right? Well, there's right. a little more to it. <laughs> it's a little bit. I'm always <laughs> amazed at the technology and what Me they can too. do. I really am. It's just it's amazing You to know, me. The, the old, when <clears throat> I remember... Old cell phone. You're going to tell on yourself? <laughs> bag phone. You mean the ones that were this big? <laughs> the bag phone. I had a bag phone, yes. <laughs> yeah. The bag phone, yes. But, but even, you know, 
prior to the smartphones, you know, the phones were really simple. I mean, you know, yes, even the texting and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, texting was easy. But now the, the smartphones, you, can, you know, there are many computers and they you can many, do everything mm -hmm. with them, you know, mm -hmm. and some things you don't even think about. So it really is technology, even for any age person, you've got to stay up with it because it it's is. changing daily, you know, and, and and that's why I say the kids, little kids have such an, an advantage over all of us they do. because they're picking it up at a young age mm -hmm. and, and they're moving along with the technology as it changes. And sure. they're not Every scared day. to play with no. it. They're yeah. not scared to break it. We're yeah. all scared to break it. Sure. Adults are. That's right. In our, in our learn right. to use your computer class, that's the first thing most people will say to me is, well, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Right. And Very we, we reassure them that they cannot break it. <laughs> they lock it up. Kids don't mind. No, kids don't, don't mind at all. They're not afraid to do that. Right. You got a little bit of everything in here. Why don't you, can you just go through just a little bit yeah, and tell about people? Some of our new things. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. What are your new things? Social networking for seniors. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. you know, we get that a lot for our 50 plus crowd. They want to know about Facebook, they want to know about being on the internet and emailing and um, Twitter accounts and. And is it right for them? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what's the big deal about all this stuff? And you expose them to it in an environment where everyone else in the class is just on the same level, same school level as them. They feel so much more comfortable about it. So we're, sure. we're trying this this go round, see if we get enough takers, see if they're interested. But we we've had a lot of requests That's for good. for classes. That's a great idea. I like, I like that. that. Yeah. Um, and Jim is uh, Jim's teaching, uh, or Jim Bumgarner from well, here. Well, he is teaching, teaching social a, a, a media, uh -huh, video marketing. Kind of marketing. He's, he's ah, uh -huh. is, that class has already started, and I yeah. believe we have seven students yeah. in there. He's, so he we're said excited. It's, he said it's going well. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Great. So he, yeah. yeah, he's one of our new instructors, our new classes, mm -hmm. and he really did a great job of going out and promoting his class too, which we always like for the teachers to do. Sure. So get, excited um, get the it. word out. Yeah, yeah. And, and and it shows that he's excited about it. Right. As well, we let's see what, what else, else we have new there? we've got. I always like to <laughs> talk about my new things because we have always have so many. Uh, Zumba, uh -huh. ah, we've got going on. Liz Darden is a new. She's new to the area. She's okay. a new instructor for us, and uh, we've got that going on. Does she teach anywhere else? Do you know that? I do not know. Okay, where'd she come from? Sorry, I'm uh, <laughs> not even important. <laughs> Okay, very cool. You know, something we've got going on today in the Duran Center is we've got grant writing one on one. Mm -hmm. But if you look, we also have 102, 103, and 104. So if you are interested in writing grants mm -hmm. at any level, any skill level you mm -hmm. have, we've got a class That's for good. you. In that last class, the 104 class, you write a grant in class. Yeah. With a professional grant writer, yes. and so it's been really, really popular. And it is—it's all day commitment, you know, one day, nine to three, sure, for each level. But for forty-five bucks, oh, that's where cheap. in the world would you get a grant writing class for forty-five dollars? Mm -hmm. right. Nowhere. And, it, and you know, everything from from churches to civic organizations yes. to companies apply for grants. So that's a Absolutely. great idea. So we yeah. really saw that need right. from our community. And so we've started offering these classes doing really well, and I hope I hope they continue. I hope we continue yeah. to have people who need that service because it's so much fun. I told you Amy would take. Oh, I knew. So good. We don't yeah, get, she's we don't great. Get any questions? Mm -mm. With Amy. So she's can I perfect. tell them how to register? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> tell them how to yes, register. Yes, we got about a minute. Yes, yes. Um, Northark.edu/ce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easiest way to register online. All right. But that, obviously, anyone can call us at three nine one thirty one hundred. Right. That gets them to our department. Right. It's our direct number. We love to talk to people. And, of course, we're at the Duran Center. Mm -hmm. So downtown. if they want to come in and visit with us, we love that as well. It's great. Thank you, Amy. Amy thank you so much. You. Wonderful. Take care of that foot. I will. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be dropping anymore. So. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> Amy Bell with us today from North Arkansas College. She's talking about Kids College, which is a whole new program there. But then, of course, mm -hmm. they've got non-credit classes for all ages and all different things, brochures. Thousands of them everywhere. Just call Amy or you can go online. It's easy. Just go to northark.edu backslash CE. Is that right? And uh, you can sign up for anything you want to. Hope everything goes good for you this week. Thank uh, you, you, too. Enjoy the summer weather. It's I beautiful am. weather we're having here in the Ozarks. I about caught up with you on my tan. Oh, you are. <laughs> need to work on your golf game. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Thanks for joining us on Connection Day. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you again next time.